Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look man, I'm finna show y'all the best playmaking badges for every single build. Every time I play with people, every time I see people, they always have the wrong badges on and it's always been like this since 2K15 or 2K14. Okay, it's just, it's, it's so rare. So I'm gonna start dropping these type of videos to help y'all out man i'm very knowledgeable about the game and been playing since the first 2k at, at, at all competitive levels my boy and it's gonna be for all builds man okay now before we get into that i give y'all the sauce make sure you like up the video it helps the video get pushed in the algorithm and it requires very little effort man y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you're new and turn on them goddamn post notice now ankle breaker does work if you know how to activate it and, and use it in different scenarios um but it's not as important as the other playmaking badges for some reason playmaking is even though it's the most skilled position they always make it harder for the playmakers you know the the ones the people controlling the ball for some reason there's a lot of badges that matter they they completely nerf us and everything but ankle breaker it's a it's a badge where you could get a stun make people fall on their face and it, and it works especially since i don't i don't think um ankle braces like that it's not crazy it's not like no tight handle stuff people are gonna find the wave up you know a little bit later on but it's a you know it's a decent badge for a guard so after you get your necessities which i'm gonna talk about later and you if you got some extra you want to put that on that hoe now for a lock you probably don't really need this hoe it'd be of your like lower tier type of stuff unless you're like a cheeser and you want to really help out your uh main ball handler then, then you know you can add it on at like a low tier and you could probably still get stuns and uh, make people fall and all that now for a center of course not now break starter man um of course if you're a guard no but maybe you know because th this is like a 6-9 pg so you get it at a lower tier <laughs> Now, for a guard, maybe if you crash down and you want to throw better passes somewhat, but still, I don't I don't think break starter really works, man. I played some games in the rec, and it seems like, bro, when people throw the ball, it's a crazy catch. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Like, and, and I bet you they didn't make that for actual park. They only did it for rec when you're like cherry picking or something. But break starter doesn't, it don't seem like it really worked like that much to me. And then people are gonna probably say, vice grip, vice grip. But there's no like glue hands. Uh, last year you had to have your glue hands on at least silver to make those cherry pick catches when people keep shooting up dumb stuff. And you know, you gotta make them pay for not running back on defense type stuff. You know, but um, break starter, it's an ad bad. So I, I wouldn't invest too much into it. Um, if you if you're a lock that does crash down, you know you can, you can you know on the lower level and stuff. Uh, even even for a center, like I don't know if you you might want to max out, but I mean like it it don't be working. I don't, I don't know, bro, but eh, it's a eh. It's something you want to invest like mid tier of your badges. Um, since it's not a you know a dimer, bro. I think it gets a bad rap of speeding up uh, jump shots and all that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I too much believe it, but I definitely think it, it can really help your teammates, man. For but I, I definitely think it can help your teammates, man. Like say say for instance, because it's it's kind of hard to shoot for a lot of people, bro. But the green window's also bigger. So if you say you're isoing, and you got two niggas in the corner. Like, I don't know if you want to rock dimer, but you can. And if you do that, you'll be rewarded, but you're not going to be having the, um, you have to play more simplistic. But you also have playmaking takeovers if you didn't want to use this, uh, dimer. And the playmaking takeovers are very underrated too. But, um, yeah, like for instance, for your locks, you know, since, um, I'm showing y'all how to make locks with, uh, playmaking, because a lot of people don't have playmaking. You could invest this for like when you pass it back to your uh, guard or even your centers can run this for some reason with the game. Like this is a six, nine build, right? Um, this is not my build. I just did this for the video, but I'm assuming like even big uh, builds, they'll be able to get dimer and, you know, dish it back and all that. There's a lot of uh, passing on the get backs and dexing. So I, I think dimer can help. Just make sure you tell your teammates 
that you have it on and um you already get a bunch of different jump shot timing so i think this year especially compared to other years dimer will be like very useful so it's i think on all three levels center lock and uh pg it has a place and about the mid level of like you know what you want to invest all really real dependent on your play style man now floor general man this is a very underrated badge man listen up very closely there is no more defensive leader so this is something you really want to rock man um if it works like last year giving you an attribute at every uh single level and look like i don't even have to invest much all you need is one person on your team to run this and then the other your other teammates get it so if you play wreck or pro-am this someone has to have this on hall of and you're valid right or maybe maybe even gold but it, it's just gonna help y'all offensively like plus four attributes on everything that sounds crazy right and then even even for your 3v3 teams or your 2v2 teams someone has to run it at a high level and i i think it'll bring y'all you know give y'all a major advantage man you know for the dunking layup all that so this is definitely something you you want to you know invest a little bit after your necessities but look playmaking is expensive so you you gotta choose you feel me like there, there's so many badges that you need that you gotta really choose bro so i would say floor general over diamond i would say um see th this is why break starter ain't a, like you know like it's not like that there's so many playmaking patches bro <laughs> it's it's insane bro out the guys the people who like make this game it's like why do they do this like playmakers are never the most toxic it's the dumb down builds it's the post scores and you know the decks and stretch bigs and you know the people ruining the paint defense like all you had to do is fix defense in your game and niggas wouldn't be able to do all that just like in 16 they couldn't but anywho, man, that, that, that's besides the point. Now, hyperdrive is something you definitely want to max out. Now, hyperdrive, it activates with a lot of different dribble moves going downward, bro. If you don't have this badge on, you're gonna be extremely slow and it's not gonna feel like you can get by people to go dunk, etc. So if you are a guard, this has to, it gotta be maxed, my boy. You know, it just, it has to be maxed. Oh my God, what the fuck am I doing? It definitely, has to be maxed now for a lockdown when you have to help out your uh guard because it's you know they made the game so bad this year that you know the most skilled player can't just score they're uh holding people's hands on defense and um they're not letting someone who's way better than everyone on the court just you know dog you out <laughs> so um sometimes a lock's gonna have to help and all that so if you're a lock I would invest it maybe like bronze, you know, and higher if you can. Like if you got like extra badges or you really need to help your guard because he's not that guy, um, you know, you can bump it up. And it seems like not a lot. And even for uh centers, when they have to uh maybe maybe centers, you know, that they, they might need it too, you know, they, they could probably rep it bronze too. Now mismatch expert, bro. This is for to my knowledge, I'm hearing the guy has to be five inches or six inches taller than you right so you would have to be a small guard to really use this since ever, since a lot of people are doing big builds not every i know it seems like that but it's not really everyone bro a lot of comp people are still using little guards so if they use this plus like something like clamp breaker you could blow by people in insanely like it it's 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 actually like a probably a huge crazy boost and I, you know i heard it even causes stuns and stuff but um like if you have a small guard you could invest in this right but if you're a big guard don't invest in it lock centers there's no point of this uh but if you're a small guard bro you can invest in this hoe and then you can even combine it with a clamp breaker and it'll make it way easier bro now post playmaker bro i probably put on the same level as dimer i don't know the direct stats hopefully one of the modded controllers um do something about it but i would say like these are kind of like on the same level but dimer even more because you don't have to be on a um you don't have to like be in the post to throw it and i don't know if you have to I don't know how it exactly activates, but 
just thinking about how the game is, this is more for centers, maybe even locks, for guards, pointless. But you get a rebound, you got to kick it back out. You know, you, you can exploit this, especially especially if you have a Dexter. And um, I think it'll be more valuable in the 5v5 scene than, uh, I don't know, bro. It, 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 this could be handy. It, it all depends on how big the boost is. So, you know, just keep your eye on that. You know, test it out yourself. But I, I think this could definitely be somewhat valuable. I don't know about the dimer. And also, y'all down below, let me know what you know about playmaking badges too. You know, I'm only one nigga. I can only play so much. You know, I got a bitch. I got to upload. I got to play the... I got to do... Dude. I have to do so much stuff. I do know a lot, but not every little intricacy right now, okay? Okay, now special delivery, bro, man, it, it all depends. You gotta really know your team for this shit, right? You gotta really know your team because you can exploit this. This is the badge that uh, helps you get takeover really fast. You know, you throw alley-oops or a flashy pass and it, it can really help you out. But bro, you don't have enough badge points. It's like, what is 2K doing? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't get it. I wish other positions would have to choose stuff too. But it's like, you get by, you know? But it's like, y'all are picking on the most skilled players so much. But what about all these no skilled people that pick all these role player positions? I don't know, bro. I don't I don't like it, bro. It's it's so it's so weird. But this could definitely be a real nice badge. Even even a lot could rock it in the right situations. Even the PG, uh, the center. Bailout, very broken badge. Um, it doesn't belong in the game, to be honest. I don't know why he puts this badge in the game. I think it's because he loves certain uh, content creators. This is very broken. Someone can just literally just fake shoot, fake fade, pass out fake go up pass out it's not exploited as high as it could be but at the bronze level it's completely game breaking bro it's it, it really bails people out and it's I, I don't think it belongs in the game if you drive an iso you definitely want to have this on bronze that's really all you've needed these past years but you can go even higher like this is like probably like the best playmaker badge you have to have this on if you are a guard that goes to dunk small or big or if you're just a guard that you know wants to start fading and you know get throw it out it's very broken you can exploit this at every position right you can act like you're going to shoot pass out have your homie decks like you you, you you see what i'm saying like you could play like a real hoe but niggas they they just not they just don't know no like you know like that nigga ticino he be uh, like nigga, you know like bro but but it could be real exploit like imagine if someone's going to fade and then someone's going to pinch and then you could just pass out and then someone's gonna go fake dunk and then just the other guy curls up and you know and then like you're you're playing to try and help your teammates but then they pass out and uh, it's it's bad bro but yeah and also bail out bro it, it's not to throw the ball it's to where your teammate can catch it cleanly and it could be exploited man like like od um <laughs> i don't like it bro Now, this needle threader shit, bro, it says it gives a boost to passing ability, you know, no one's really known about it for years, like, if it really worked, and, you know, the modded controllers came in and started saying this and that, but look, there's a new thing in 2K23 that was never in the game, when you pass it, it stuns the nigga who's, like, ball watching or far away or maybe close sometimes, I don't know how it works, the modded controller niggas have not dropped a video, even though I don't think everything they say is 100% correct. But, you know, it gives us a bigger idea of what's going on. But, um, and y'all let me know y'all's experience with Needle Threader, man. I see people getting stunned from passes, bro. So I don't know if that has something to do with the badge level, you know. But until we can really figure out, like, what's going on, if it's just the pass accuracy or if it's a certain badge level that causes the stuns, 
I can't really talk about it, you know. Um, people used to say it was, uh, or you know, like modded controller people used to say it was um, like bounce passes, it helped and stuff like that, you know, it helped you a little bit, but you know, bounce passes ain't really effective. So I don't know, man, but we got to figure out the stun cap. So y'all let me know. Quick first step. And also like a PG would definitely, uh, you know, need this at some level, maybe. I mean, it depends on the stun and how efficient for, for any build. So I, I can't really too much speak about it, but uh, I hope that offered y'all some, a little bit of knowledge, man. Now this quick first step for a guard, you gotta max it out, bro. Y you have to. Now quick first step, bro. They slowing this game down so much. This, this, this shit might end up being uh, the worst 2K to me, bro. Um, just strictly based off it being a slow game, bro. I don't, I don't like that shit, bro. Uh, it's just so slow. All you had to do was buff defense. You didn't have to nerf offense to make it seem like you have better defense. It, it's so weird. You got the stamina being as low as ever. Then you got the adrenaline boost. Then you got the different shot timings and now everything's super slow. It's just, this game is so boring to me. But as a guard, anyways, man, you definitely want to have this maxed out, okay? As a little guard, especially, um, you can get through with gold. Like a lot of people said they don't notice a difference. So like for instance, 2K Lab says it goes up like at bronze, it's plus four percent. Then he says plus seven percent, then plus eight, then plus twelve. He made a whole picture about it. And then I think that he says like the exact attributes is like twelve. I, I I don't I don't know some some shit like that. But yeah, like as a lock, even even as a like a lock, you definitely want to have this somewhere up there to help you get by to help out your second ball handler even as a center you want to have this somewhat to to help you get by you know but yeah man you, you definitely gonna want to upgrade this probably to the max for whatever build you use to be honest now vice grip man i'm going strictly off of what 2k toots put a video out about it some people think um, and I, I've also heard this too. They all they think that they put glue hands in this badge. They didn't, bro. I've played Rec, and <laughs> bro, these these passes are insane. Like, and it, it's just like you're you're fumbling the ball, all this shit. Two K Tuts is saying that it's not in that bitch. Glue hands is not in that bitch. That to get a better pass, it's more related to whoever's throwing the ball's pass accuracy. And he says that vice grip only activates when someone is very close to you. If they're like far away and then you get the rebound, it's not going to activate. It activates after a duration, after you get the rebound and they're close to you and it ups your ball security. So, um... <laughs> Like on like the inbound and shit, like y'all, like like for instance, I showed a video where someone got the ball stolen off an inbound pass, and that's not vice grip, bro. I mean, maybe he didn't test that out, but I don't, I don't think that's vice grip, like you know. So it's like niggas could come up to you every year and do that shit. Y'all don't understand because you don't play comp locks that press you to where you have to wait for them to move a certain way before going and sometimes no matter what they're gonna get that animation on you bro and it, it's not fair <laughs> it's not it's not fair it's it's a, it's a real cheap tactic to uh get the ball bro but vice grip definitely for centers is something you want to invest in maybe for locks if you crash down i personally believe if you train your pg or a certain ball handler to be in a certain position running at certain angles. Like me, for instance, I'm never near a defender off of an inbound, so you can always safely throw it because my IQ is so high that I know how to move, but I've realized that 99.99% of players don't know how to move off of a rebound and never be a threat, you know, to where it'd be like an interception or something. But, um. Yeah, so it all depends on that, how much you need to invest. But if you get the ball out your hands super fast, you don't have to invest too much. 
But if you don't, and you're always thinking, and you're playing with randoms, you're going to have to invest a little more because once people start realizing centers and locks don't have a high uh, <laughs> unpluckable, even though the badge don't work, <laughs> just start spamming. Anytime someone gets a rebound, start spamming. Leak, 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 <laughs> you know? Let's show these niggas what's up. So for a guard, eh, no. Um, for a lock, possible. And for a center, definitely. You're going to have to invest something. Maybe even max that hole. Now, clamp breaker, man. It is a very important OD for point guards. It is a must. You, If you go and dunk, you're not just some fade-in three-point guy that never drives for some reason. I'm sure, pretty sure everyone's driving at this point. Even if you only got layup, you need this badge, bro. Especially, you're going to want to um, really max it out, bro. Like, it's more important than killer combos, bro. I'm not going to hold you. I see a lot of people, they're, they're over-investing in other things. This clamp breaker shit is how you are able to drive more efficiently, man. When you get that shit to Hall of Fame, bro, you know, 2K Lab tested it out. He got a little graph and shit. He's saying it's a it's a 74% chance of either blow buying or hip riding. And in this game, a lot of people don't have clamps, okay? Because of how things are set up. And a lot of people don't have it maxed, okay? So you being able to have it at Hall of Fame and their clamps versus bronze or maybe silver, you're gonna be able to really kill them especially if you get it gold or you know it, it's, it's gonna help you out a lot man uh this is definitely something you want to invest in a lot um as a lot i don't even know if you'll be able to rock this but maybe even a, a bronze level if, if if you can you know you know you might want to go for it and as a center i don't think you'll maybe you'll be able to it's something you could go for too but this will help y'all with y'all drives, man. It's a it's a very important badge. I think it's underrated for some reason, but it could be like the best badge in the game, low key. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Now handles for days. Uh, shit is garbage, but you still need it. It, it, it helps you out a lot. This is something you definitely want to invest in. Um, if you're gonna be dribbling the ball, bro. Uh, if you're a guard, you definitely want it max. You can get by with silver and uh, gold and Hall of Fame, it's, but it's like, to get the Hall of Fame, like, bruh, niggas are weird, bro. And, and even even if like the Hall of Fame, it's like a little gap, bro. You know, some modded controllers did uh, some testing and it's, a, it's probably like a few dribble moves extra that you get, but that's very important for a guard. But um, you don't have to max it out. Um, for a center, you don't need this, bitch. Um, unless you you have some type of unique play style uh, for a lock, you know, if you're a secondary ball handler or a secondary ball handler, you know, you're gonna you don't have to max this. Uh, you could get by with bronze, but you you don't really have to be like, nyeh, nyeh. you know, you have to really be a one two demon type shit. But um, yeah, man, you 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 don't want to max this oh, as a guard. It, it's 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 just so funny to me how handles for days is even a badge, bro. This is so unrealistic to basketball and it's a disgrace to humanity how in real life can people do more than what you can do in the game handles for days is not real no one gets tired in a game to 21 not a high school athlete especially an nba player that has the stamina of the top 500 people currently alive and they're on steroids and drugs to make their endurance and stamina even higher. These niggas can dribble for hours. They don't get tired. That's why the past 2Ks were way better. This shit's unrealistic as fuck. And it's lame, nigga. You know, if I'm way better than somebody, I should be able to show off on them bitch niggas crazy. Because they're ass. When I play comp people, I barely dribble. It's just like real life. That's how it's always been. But if I'm playing a bot bum, he can't check me. I'm going to get flashy with it. Y'all say NBA, NBA. Nigga, we're not playing pro. And then you're not on my skill level. Why should you be able to stay in front of me if you're not as good as me? We're playing street ball. We are at the park, nigga. You know, lions and tigers. We're going to be in space eventually, nigga. Street ball. You don't think Curry playing against a high schooler is going to dribble crazy? You don't think Kyrie's going to dribble? You don't think LeBron's going to dribble crazy? You think they're going to keep one-twoing your little bot ass? No, they're going to 
go crazy, nigga. But, you know, I, I just wanted to speak about that, bro. Y'all, y'all got to level up your minds, bro. Go outside, my nigga. Nobody's getting tired after five dribble moves, bro. That shit's not real. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this dumbass dog shit community? Fucking losers, bro. This killer combo shit, bro. They, they say it's supposed to be a uh, quick chain mixed in with uh, tight handles. I don't know, bro. He's saying it only activate on like the third dribble move and it don't affect your burst. It don't affect the speed of the chain. Nigga showing images. So it's like, nigga, fuck this bad. Basically, bro, th this badge just helps you do long combos if you're like a dribble guy, like long combos. So if you don't do that type of stuff, um, there's really no point for the badge. If you're just a scorer like me, like I do kind of get try to get fancy with it, but it's not like every play type shit. I know that's some of y'all's play style though, so you know. To be honest, I don't notice the uh, tight handles with this badge, man. I, I've used it myself. I don't, I don't really notice too much, man. Um, the same ankle breakers I be getting be the same like I be getting without it, kind of. I don't no, know. Pluckable, bro. You you gotta upgrade this, bro. As a as a ball handler, you gotta have this upgraded to a uh, gold or Hall of Fame, bro. Um. People are saying they noticing a difference with Hall of Fame, but I don't know, bro. People are also saying that short guards, even if they have the same ball handle as a big guard, they're getting ripped less probably because of something as in the height, um, how they don't have the ball out there as much. But this, these, this is all things 2K did not intended, right? If you have a ball handle attribute, you spent money on a build, right, to... How people are getting ripped is insane. It's not defense, nigga. Defense is riding the nigga, predicting the nigga timing. It's not just a square instant rip, bro. It's not It's not basketball. It's not hoops. Niggas average like two steals per game max in a full NBA game. What the fuck you think street ball gonna be? You know? Even with, with the best defenders on them, nigga, niggas not getting ripped, bro. Uh... It's very exploity, and these are like on-ball steals. It's not counting the bump steals you could get that doesn't even have to deal with your steal. Um, Unpluckable doesn't work. It needs to be reworked. It needs to be buffed. Um, it just doesn't work. It's like the old days, bro. Uh, bots can just come up and reach. They already nerfed speed and all this stuff so much i don't like when niggas can dribble in your face just like you niggas i am a defensive guy but i don't like when a bot can come up and just reach on me and they don't even have a max glove and with a max glove they can go crazy like no skill involved bro play defense get some bumps get my stamina lower then you can get the steal if i have max stamina and high unpluckable I shouldn't be getting ripped. If I didn't even move, if I'm just standing there, I shouldn't be getting ripped. I don't know why y'all think that. It's like, if I have a 99 dunk, should I just dunk the ball every play? No. If I have a 99 layup, should I just be able to lay it up every play? No. If I have a 99 three, should I just be able to tap it and it just go in every play? If I have a 99 dunk, just tap it, go in every play? If I have a 99 layup, just tap it, go in every play? post hook this tap it go in every play with a uh, speed boosting tries to be able to speed boost and blow by you every play just tap that bitch that's essentially what stealing the ball is okay um it's rng bro like come on guys i know y'all have been tortured all these years get it together my nigga unpluckable but anywho you still gotta upgrade this uh on all levels every build got to upgrade it. it it might work it might not it might help you it might not some bro a lot of people are saying when they take this shit off they're getting ripped less isn't that crazy people are saying they're running whole events with no one pluckable what's going on here is this a glitch and also i think i think see look a reason some people aren't facing the steel shit is because of the people they're playing. The defense is so bad 
that it makes you not want to reach. Like it's so laggy and molasses. It's hard to get to a person you worried about them shooting, fading, or going to dunk, or going to go dunk then walk back. It's like people don't reach, right? And especially like in rec, they don't want to foul because they want their takeover. Sometimes they want their takeover, so they don't reach. But when you play certain people, like if when someone sees my name, they're gonna reach, bro. With how my player looks, they're gonna reach. Like they feel offended even seeing my name, seeing my player, see how I do one dribble move, right? They just start dick eating me, and you can see the true limits of the ability. <laughs> The true limits of what the ability really is, when you are a bot and no one gives a fuck about you playing, they're not gonna reach because you're not you're not significant to them. It's like I'm fucking LeBron to niggas, bro. And they will come up and try to like be annoying, bro. It's 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 stupid, bro. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't get to face it, man. You know, you're hiding from what's really out there. You live in a delusion of a false reality, my nigga, we telling you it's a problem, you might want to come, you're going you're gonna to face it one day, and it, it, it's going to eventually, like, take over once people learn, but, you know, anywho, man, y'all be sure to follow me on Twitch, link is in the description, make sure y'all become a member to the YouTube channel if you want to get on the friends list, 1v1 me, play games with me type shit, and uh, click one of these two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Here, here we go again People talking this, but when this hit the fan Everything I'm that made me Now break it down Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.